position. Mount position, cross my elbow to the other side of the head. Here, and I slide my opposite leg down to keep pressure. And then just my knee's going to be connected with the hip. My foot's going to be up so I can drive into it. I'm always keeping constant pressure, my rib cage to their rib cage. All right? Or their now. All right, so now I'm going to switch and go to side control. Automatically, when I switch and go to side control, my hand goes to the bicep. Here. And my knee collects this arm. I don't want this arm down in here if I can help it, right? I want to have it out and isolated. Hold the bicep, reach back, grab the tricep, and then switch my hips to casing and top position, my headlock position. Now from headlock position, I go north-south. My hand goes from the tricep to the wrist. I like to put it underneath my body, put weight back on it. Bring this hand up, grab a hold of the tricep, and bring my elbow up on the body to keep them planted there. It also uh, controls the breathing. My knee goes to the other side, here. I can stay here in the, the north-south position if I want. Arm goes here, one arm over, one arm under. Always want to go to the side if you have the arm under. So now all I do is move this arm across the body. Here, turn, hand goes here, and I collect this arm back up. So now I'm in case of atomic position. In case of atomic position, if I want to grab the head, I need to stay nice and tight to the head. So my hand is going to go to the neck, and slide right under, and grab my hamstring and keep tight on the chest and lean towards the head. Before I go any further, I need to take my hand off of the head though and go back to the bicep. And then switch to side control, elbow on this side, and I switch to reverse case here. If they have the leg up blocking this space, I'm just gonna move it down a little bit. I don't have to push it off or anything like that. I'm just gonna move it down so my knee can go on the belly. My knee goes on the belly, the other knee goes under the armpit. Here. She's gonna hold my knee because she doesn't want me to mount. So I'm gonna thread the needle, my arm goes underneath her arm like an underhook. I'm gonna grab the head, I'm gonna walk this arm up. And I try to put it to the other side of my head here. Now whenever I mount her, I'm not going to flop my leg over because she's going to catch me in the guard. So my knee's going to slide across and go to the mat near her armpit. But in order to do that, I have to move my head at the same time. So my head doesn't stay here. It goes here. So it slides down. Okay? If I'm here and I just go and try to move my leg over, she's going to catch it. Put me in a half guard, probably put me in a close guard, and then I gotta fight out of that. Alright, so then mount, and go again.